We uh welcome welcome back to the Beef Banquet podcast. This is 124 3 4 124 4. This is 124. Uh, we're hanging out here in the studio in uh, the stew in the in the stew uh with uh who, who's stew is that um uh, Rograth? It was the dad named Stu. Yeah, but in this case, the Stu. studio, the Stu is studio. Of course, I I, I figured. Uh, uh, excuse me. Yeah. So, um, Henry, watched... Henry, cut that burp out, and and don't you dare layer it over atop the same burp, so it sounds really loud. <laughs> I'm gonna layer it over the rest of the podcast. Oh please! Every don't. time you speak, it's gonna be <laughs> augmented with burping. <laughs> So it just sounds like you're. Or I thought you meant it was just like one long burp <laughs> the entire time. Um, That'd be cool. Um, that would, it, like as our audio gets quieter and quieter, I think it would be <laughs> even better. Um, mm-hmm. But yes, we uh, watched Power of the Dog on uh, Netflix. On yeah. Netflix, Netflix. Um, based on a book. Yeah. It stars my boy um, Benjamin Cumbersnatch. Uh, <laughs> Kristen, Kristen, Kirsten Dunst, Jess Plemons, um, and Paul Dano. It says Paul Dano was in it. Who is Paul Dano in this? Dano. Thomas yes. McKenzie also was in it. Yep. Uh, we don't talk about her. Cody um, Smith Mc- McPhee. He was the boy, the the teenager. He was in Alpha. Okay, that's what yeah. I remember him in. In what? Alpha. Alpha. Yeah. That kid from Little Rascals. And he was also in X-Men Apocalypse and Dark Phoenix. He was Nightcrawler in, in those. Oh, okay. I'm trying to remember. Yeah, I don't. I, for, I honestly kind of forgot Nightcrawler was even in that. Yeah. Those they movies were, they are kind of blacked out. Yeah, those ones weren't very good. <laughs> on my mind. Um, but Alpha was, was good. Um, Power of the Dog. It's a very similar movie to Alpha because it's also about a dog. No. Oh, um, that has power. <laughs> sort of, yeah. Yeah. Um, what did you think of the movie? I liked it. Um, uh, I think I'd have to be in the right mood to watch it again. Yeah. Just because it felt like... Very like, slow. Yeah, there wasn't a lot. It, it was more of like a contemplative movie, I feel like. Because, mm-hmm. yeah, not like a lot really happened necessarily. I mean, yeah. there was a lot of story. And there was a lot of like, I think, um, more subtle subtext things going on than anything so yeah. it's more of a movie you read into but yeah i yeah. mean it was a lot it was, of thought is required exactly and you know how i love thoughts thought so. thoughts not included one might thought, even say thought. yeah they they got to put that disclaimer on the on the case mm-hmm. um the case that that it comes with when you're but, playing it on netflix yeah <laughs> yes clearly yeah that yes miles <laughs> well they could put it in the description there too mm-hmm. battery's not included um what did you think? Yeah, I very similar um, opinion on it. Uh, really slow. Um, I still liked it, but it was. I feel like I might have not been a writ like when we started. I might have not been in the correct mood, but by the end, I was like, "Yeah, this you're is, into it. This is yeah. good. This is good. Absolutely." Um, is Benjamin Cumber Snatch does is gay? Uh yes, I would say he would is. Say so he was. He is gay. Yeah, he loved. Yes. He was in love with, with uh, Bronco. Me, Bronco Henry. Yep. Good old you. Good old uh, Ford Bronco Henry. Built Ford to. Yep, that's me, and uh, yeah, and then the so the kid, kind of reminded him of Bronco Henry, which is interesting because like. There's a, we have a stalker Miles in no, in the cat. stew. It's a I, I, cat. Yeah. Really, I couldn't tell. I mean, you, so you called it a stalker, so I just assumed stalker. you thought it was a real stalker. Yeah, you're, you're right. Because we're just that famous. Yeah, we, we have dozens and dozens of adoring fans. Mm-hmm. What are you talking about? They're always trying to knock down my door. They're my dad's multiple personalities. <laughs> split, um, split. James McAvoy split. Okay, power of the dog. Yes. Um, performances were so, was pretty solid overall. Yeah, I, I don't think there was anyone that I was really like get this person out of this movie. Yeah, uh, obviously, I think Benedict Cumberbatch was the um, 
creme de la creme. Yeah, yeah. The one who was like, you know, you're going to be want, wanting him almost every a- chance absolutely. you get Absolutely. Each scene, I think, yeah, he, yeah, you, he was in. He was obviously like, you didn't like him, but you still liked him. He was like him. the driving, yeah. You kind of admired that he was, you know, in a masochistic sort mm-hmm. of way. I mean, know. obviously, at the beginning, he was like a big asshole to absolutely everyone. But by the end, he was like, you know, you're a lovable little, little uh, wow. little you're a little sweetheart inside, little rascal, you know, little rascal. Oh, alfalfa. That's him. He's alfalfa. He was alfalfa. I didn't know that. No. <laughs> he was, yeah. You could tell by his ears. <laughs> Got those dumbo ears. No. Um, he was wearing a hat the whole time. You couldn't see his little. Uh, Oh, pointing at here. No, you couldn't. Yeah, he kept it. <laughs> he learned his lesson. <laughs> he looked at some of his old childhood photos and was mm-hmm. like, damn. I couldn't get nothing back then. Yeah. But it was good. Yeah, mm-hmm. overall, I would say. I'm trying the, to think. I don't know what um, what there is to say about like going more in-depth on it. Like like what yeah, subtext, that be something for you know? Like, yeah, multiple viewings. Mm-hmm. Um well, and I guess that would maybe be a helpful to look at each character, mm-hmm. kind of, I guess. And, like, look at, um, kind of, what, because, what, like, the, there was, like, the, um, stuff with, like, the, it was, like, the parents and then the mayor or something. Yeah. Or, and there was some of that weird stuff. Um, the piano stuff I thought was kind of interesting for, um, Western Nuts, um, Kirsten Dunst's character. Yeah. Kind of like a, um, because she was sort of more of the... Well, her character was actually kind of interesting too, yeah, because she was like an alcohol. She was that alcoholic, uh, and like she, 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 uh, yeah, seemed to have such trouble, you know. With, at the beginning, she seemed fine, and like she did, and then over and time, was, and was just maybe. I mean, you, she might want to say that the, um, the Benedict Benedict's character caused her to go to, um, turn to alcoholism, but I don't know if that's in, the entire reason. Maybe well, and she was married before. Okay, you can see the kid. Yeah, so, yeah. Um, who was in fact her son? And she could have been an alcoholic the whole time, right? And just not like people just didn't see it. Yeah, and I don't know if that's another thing. Did Jesse Jess Plemons' character like recognize that, or did he just ignore it or not know? And... I don't. I feel like he was. He knew. He knew at the end. Yeah, because he was end, pouring he out the alcohol. I feel like he was. A... He seemed to me a little bit more oblivious. oblivious. Yeah, yeah like overall, a, what was happening. Yeah. He just, he was like, because, yeah, because he left her, he seemed to leave her alone most days and was just like, yeah, he's fine. Shut up. Right, yeah, like, like whenever he's she had concerns. About... <laughs> yeah, whenever, whenever um, she, or, yeah, whenever she had concerns about, like, um, uh, Phil Burbank and uh, the kid, Peter. Like hanging out, you know, he was just like, "Ah, oh, they're fine. They're they're cool. They can, yeah, they can hang." Yeah, he's he, not he gonna just, lynch he, his ass. He like, just didn't seem to, yeah, give a shit. No, yeah, um, um well, he just, yeah, like just yeah, oblivious. Just like he he wasn't paying as much attention or something. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Like it was interesting. Yeah. Well, and and maybe because of like the way that they grew up together, because they were brothers. So like, yeah, maybe he just naturally became more passive and like didn't really pay like zoned out more because mm-hmm. like Phil was such a hard ass. Maybe I don't yeah, know. it's true. Um, I think it'd be interesting to see too, like, look look more into like maybe what their their life or their childhood was like mm-hmm. growing up. I suppose, well, I mean, we kind of see that with Phil a little bit with the Bronco Henry stuff or whatever. Yeah, but that was, and I was, was like conf- fifteen. Yeah, I was confused on on the whole that that whole dynamic between like them having parents and Bronco Henry. Like what? Like when did they meet him and did they live with him? Was it like, um, you know what I mean? Did like when? It, how did they get introduced and like what was the dynamic? Yeah. yeah, like did they live with their parents and hang out with Bronco Henry or did they just stay with Bronco Henry? Mm-hmm. Or... They ran away from home. Yeah, and, you know. that's what I was thinking. That, I mean, yeah, that would be kind of interesting. Yeah, because like it's well, maybe if they had, yeah, that'd be interesting if they had like abusive parents or something mm-hmm. and then they like ran away with Rocco and started their own life you know what I mean mm-hmm. but I don't know I, I would be interested to check out the book too because it's, mm-hmm. it's based off of a book I know yeah that. um but uh we the shall superpower see. of the pooch yeah Thomas Savage that's who wrote it mm-hmm. um yeah just uh, yeah I'd be curious to just see if there's any differences or if it goes more into some of that stuff like their history and whatnot I don't know but yeah 
I, yeah, I'm not sure. Um, other than that, yeah, what else did you? Is there anything else you really that really stood out to you? Uh, no. I would say no. The obviously the location, excuse me, like a lot of the backgrounds was really pretty. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's um, good. I want to know did where do they film that? Um. um <coughs> Uh, power of the dog. In New Zealand, it looks like. Yeah, that wouldn't that would surprise me. And uh, yep. Set in the open spaces of rural Montana in nineteen twenty-five. Took also took place in the coastal Otago city of Dunedin and the town of Omaru. Omaru. Um, you making like... stuff up, Henry? No, not at all. I promise. You're telling lies, Henry. <laughs> Henry, Henry. Henry. Yes, Miles. <laughs> telling lies. Yes, bitch. <laughs> all right. Shit. I'm gonna come on the gate like that. Fuck. Shit. Fuck. <laughs> A news article entitled "Tom Holland Hated Benedict Cumberbatch's Character in Power of the Dog." Wow, what a what a great opinion to have. His character? Just awful. Mm-hmm. Do, you, do you care to elaborate? No. Yeah, I mean... It, it just... Just the vibe was just awful. And someone else was like, yeah, I mean, yeah, he's kind of unlikable. No, but I'm I'm an actor, and, you know, I have more of an opinion, and mine's better than yours, so... <laughs> he just uses his publicity to, like, air his opinion. Even though it's pretty much, like, the same and just, like, not as in-depth. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, no. He's not going to back it up. Of course not. Whoa, what? What? Jess Plemons and Kirsten Dunst are a couple off-screen and have two (gasps) sons together. I actually didn't know that. I didn't know that either. (laughs) That's cool. That's, yeah. Who would have thought? Kirsten Dunst and Benedict Cumberbatch were so into their characters that they did not speak to each other during filming. Hmm. That's probably part of the, uh... Method. Yeah, the method acting. The method yeah. acting that he did, yeah. Which, yeah, that makes sense. Um, uh, Kristen Dunst worked very hard to learn the piano pieces she plays on screen. She had originally mastered two musical pieces, but one was cut from the final release, much to her chagrin. I mean, yeah, he kind of just put in all that effort, and they're like, nah, we won't keep it. That would be kind of frustrating, I think. Mm-hmm. But... Piano, oh, here we so go. Long. Here we go. Uh, to get into the character of Phil Burbank, Benedict Cumberbatch didn't wash for almost two weeks at the outset of the shoot. He also started chain smoking. Although he had smoked in real life for years, he felt sick after each take when he smoked the rolled up cigarettes. He went so far with the chain smoking that he got nicotine poisoning three times. Nicotine poisoning? I don't know why I thought that that couldn't be wouldn't be a thing, but yeah, I didn't. I didn't realize. Me. I didn't realize that either. Yeah, there's like nicotine patches and stuff. So like, I, yeah, I guess I didn't, I didn't realize that that could happen. But I guess it makes sense because nicotine is a, a, a drug. So. Um, oh, oh, Paul Dano was D- Dano was originally cast as George Burbank, but dropped out due to scheduling conflicts. Oh, okay. So that's why. As as George, you said. Okay. George Burbank, yeah, the brother. Right. Yeah. Uh. And, and uh, Jesse Plemons, mm-hmm. his character or whatever. Okay. And Elizabeth Moss which was originally cast in the role of Rose in what would have been her third collaboration with Jane Campbell, or Campion. Yeah. Um, from other movies, so I'm not going to fucking list them. Elizabeth Moss. That'd be, yeah, that'd be kind of interesting. I, mm-hmm. could, I could probably see her doing that, but yeah, I liked, I liked Kirsten. I think she did a good job. Kirsten Dunst plays Cody Smith Mc, McPhee's mother. In real life, she is only fourteen years older than him. Oh okay. wow! I thought I guess. Well, he yeah. So he's older. Yeah, than that would make he sense. Plays yeah. which? How old is he? I don't Wait, know. Um, what was his name? Uh, Cody K O D I Smith McPhee. He is uh twenty five. So wow. Ten years, ten years older than he. Jeez. Yeah. Um, little baby face. Dude, filming began on January 10th, 2020. But due to the COVID pandemic, it was halted until June 27th. Yeah, I, I read that that was, yeah, they they paused it. On my birthday, bro. <gasps> Your birthday's not in June. Yeah, never mind. I'm just kidding. Um, 
What the hell? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I was just reading about Cody. Um, I guess he at uh, at 16, he was diagnosed with, an- I'm going to butcher this, an- ankylosing spondylitis, which is like a form of arthritis. Huh. At 16 years old. Jeez. Um, uh, interesting. Cumberbatch, Dunst, and Smith McPhee all are in Marvel movies. Or, yeah, yeah, Marvel movies, sorry. I was gonna ask who, what Cody's been in, but you literally said it like 10 minutes ago. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> they may not all be part of the MCU, but right. they're all they're Marvel Superhero, movies. they're the genre, the same genre. Yeah. It's all the same. Um... Really isn't much else in terms of trivia, at least that that I've seen. Okay. Um. But yeah, it was good. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, I think in the right mood, I'd watch it again. Mm Mhm. Um. Just talking about it, I actually kind of want to watch it again. Actually, just to delve into it a little bit more. I think like yesterday or whatever, I was thinking about it. I'm like, shit, I want to watch it again. Yeah, I I kind of did too. (laughs) I was like, yeah, because just just to talk about it better. Yeah. I think on the podcast, but. Another time. Mm-hmm. So, what else did you watch this week, my good man? Or did we look at trivia? Do we want to? Even I just at... did. Oh, that, that was kind of what you were reading. Okay, I was looking at Wikipedia. Oh I yeah, didn't... yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, you were. Uh, what else did you watch this week? Um, I don't think very much. Uh, I haven't seen it. I can't think of what I watched. Um. Hmm. I started watching Frozen uh, earlier today while I was somewhere, but uh, besides that, no. Can't think of anything. I've just been, you know, cooking and... Getting on that grind. Yeah. Well, cooking at home and then just watching YouTube videos while I'm doing that. Right. Watching some YouTube... What what YouTube videos? Just Danny Gonzalez. Tip. It seems to be what I've been enjoying recently. Most just recently, yeah. trying to just trying to watch all those videos. Yeah, he's got some good stuff. Part of the Greg, you're mm-hmm. growing as a Greg member. I, I'm, I don't, I don't. Greg as a Greg, yeah. It's not like you personally grow, like bigger. <laughs> no, as you the, you as, are growing. That's not as what a, I meant, as Miles. A Greg. <laughs> you're like, you there, you just see like holes in the tops of like the door frames. Um. Yeah, and he, so just not Danny Gonzalez mainly. Yeah. Okay. What about you? Uh, I rewatched The Social Network. Really? Um, yep. Because uh, it was one of the ones that my uh, the, one of the directors for the one of the directors the director <laughs> for my thesis film uh, kind of listed as a reference point for some of the cinematography. Mm. So I was rewatching that just to study the lighting mm-hmm. a little bit. Um, is there other movies that they listed? Yeah, actually, um, Prisoners, which is on Hulu. Have you? seen that no. you see, yeah i haven't yeah that's a, that's a really good one um the that was that one's my boy roger deakins mm. and uh the deke and um the lighting in that one is really good too i might pull a lot from that one too actually because that that one is really well done um but yeah uh other than that i've been watching a little bit more of um nathan for you mm-hmm. which is pretty funny i've been enjoying that um i think that's kind of the main stuff um I remember. We watched one episode of. Uh... Oh, we? Yeah, we yeah, watched Yeah, um... yeah. What the fuck is it called? Something... Pushing Daisies. Pushing Daisies. I was going to say Parallel Lines. <laughs> I was going to say Twin Daisies or something. Twin Daisies. Twin Peak Daisies. Yeah. yeah. Yes, Miss Daisy. Um, Pushing Daisies. Yes, yeah, so we did watch that. Uh, other than that, I don't think I've really been watching much else. Yeah, nothing really on YouTube. Just been listening to a lot of music. I started going through some, um, like, Red Hot Chili Peppers and stuff. Yeah. Again, kind of delving into it. Because, like, I I listened to a lot of their stuff, but I didn't really delved into, like, all of their albums. Mm-hmm. I started getting into that. Um, and then, yeah, that's pretty much it. But okay. Indeed. Red Hot Chili so. Peppers. Okay. Mm-hmm. They're, yeah, they're, they're, like, Frank's Red Hot level. <laughs> what you, uh... You got something for us, Miles? You yes. Got something for us next week? Uh, it's uh-huh. a movie that was recommended to me by my wife. <gasps> um, Sounds like a, a classy lady. Yeah, she is. She's um, a keeper. 
The movie is called Eden. Eden. It's on Tubi. This pussy. It's from 2012. <laughs> um, it's about uh, uh, human trafficking. So. Oh, perfect. Okay, yeah, that's that's what I've been trying to study actually recently. Yeah. For a just to help a friend. Um, okay. But yeah, that would be cool to check out. Yeah. On yeah. um, you said Tubi and. Tubi and that, that's it. Just Tubi. Yeah, just Tubi. So get ready for some ads, boys and girls. Directed by Megan Griffiths. Cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we'll check it out. It's also got uh, Yami, Jamie Chung. Yeah, <laughs> Yami, Yami Chung. Uh, she yeah, she's somewhat famous, pretty famous now, I think. And Bo Bridges, I've seen Bo Bridges. I've heard that name before. Oh yeah, yeah, brother of Jeff Bridges. Oh, that's right. Yep. He was in nothing that I have seen. Sidekick. Uh, no, I haven't seen Sidekicks. Yep, nothing that I've seen. But I have heard the name, so that counts for something, I guess. Yeah, I could have sworn he was in something I've seen, maybe. Don't swear. It's not becoming of a young lady like such myself. as yourself. You, you beat me to it. Oh, the mountain between us. I've seen that. Have you? Yeah. Is it good? What is it worth checking out? Yeah, I would say so. If you're into like mountains, and if they're between us, yeah. yes. Well, we just watched Power of the Dog, and there were some mountains in that. So yeah, with dogs in between them. <laughs> yeah, it was a it was an interesting movie. Um, so yeah, Eden. Eden. Check it out on Tubi. On Tubi. Yep. All right. So hang out with us for that next week. Mm-hmm. Cool. Be, Bye. Be gone with ye. Get the fuck out of here.